Okay, uh, we're here with Munis Rahman, who's the chairman and CEO of Naseeb Networks and uh, Naseeb.com, uh, which is a matchmaking site. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Now, uh, can you tell us a little brief history of uh, how you started as an entrepreneur? Yeah, sure. Um, actually, I started my career in Silicon Valley. I was a design engineer at Intel, and I was working on the Itanium microprocessor team, so uh, hardcore engineering. And uh, soon uh, in the Valley, you know, this was back in the late 90s, a lot of my friends were starting dot-coms. About a billion dollars was being invested into Internet startups each month in those days. And um, so I, too, started an Internet company. And uh, we raised uh, a round of venture capital, and we were acquired about 13 months after we started. Great experience. And uh, so I shifted my career focus from making computer chips to the Internet. Um, around 2002, we had seen the dot-com crash, and we saw a lot of Internet companies that had failed. But we saw a couple that succeeded and did really well. And while analyzing um, what was working on the Internet, we found out that uh, a few sectors were doing really well, including that was matchmaking. And as, as a Muslim, a male, unmarried at that time, I saw a huge need for um, a way for people to meet each other in the Muslim community. And so the idea was born around that time of Naseeb.com, which was a social networking slash matchmaking site. Talked to a couple of my friends um, uh, who had a lot of experience with the Internet, including the founder of PayPal and LinkedIn and Excite.com, and they became angel investors in my venture. And we raised a small amount of money, and I physically moved to Lahore, Pakistan. And I set up a small engineering team. We uh, launched the site. Um, I think we spent a total of $60,000 to launch Naseeb.com, and equivalent sites in the U.S. were uh, doing the same thing for over a million dollars. So we saved a lot of money by going to Pakistan. Six months after we launched, uh, we started the paid service. And I still remember I was in Lahore in my office overlooking McDonald's. It was quite ironic coming all the way from the valley to Lahore and seeing McDonald's in front of me. We made our site live, and at midnight, um, we flipped the switch where people actually started paying. And from midnight till about 8 a.m., I was glued in front of my computer screen watching every single transaction come through. Every three seconds, we were getting a transaction, $5, $10, $20. A great experience. And within two months, we recovered our entire investment, and the site has been growing and quite profitable since. It gave us the cash flow to try a lot of other things. So soon after that, uh, we um, started a job site, which is now the monster.com of Pakistan. It's called rozee.pk, rozee.pk. It's one of the most trafficked websites in the country right now in Pakistan. About 8,000 employers are advertising their jobs on it. 450,000 job seekers use it to find jobs. Um, it's all sorts of jobs, not just technology. All kinds of jobs. Uh, the kind of companies that are advertising it you know, include Procter & Gamble, Unilever, Microsoft, Intel, Habib Bank, UBL. Um, and the Internet is very new to employers in Pakistan who are used to spending a lot of money to advertise in newspapers. So there was a paradigm shift in, uh, in, in trying the Internet as a, as, as a medium to hire. And uh, they've tasted the success of Internet recruiting that uh, we've already experienced in the U.S. and other areas of the world. And um, we've been having a great time doing it. But the idea is that um, the point I'm trying to make is by experimenting with Pakistan as a cost center for our engineering team, we were able to become profitable very quickly. Our burn rate, burn rate was low, and we were able to reinvest those cash flows into other products. And now we're starting a family of Internet-based products that leverage our experience here in the Western Internet markets, and um, we're just having a great time doing it. So. Um as an investor, did anybody ask the question, is that a very niche, limited market that you're targeting, or actually, what was that? Actually, a lot of the investors were excited because the Muslim community is actually a huge market, 1.2 billion people all over the world, and it's very underserved. If you look at where is the Internet growing, Muslim countries are all emerging Internet markets. I'll give you the example of Internet users in Pakistan. Today, there are about 8 million people in Pakistan with Internet access. 2010, there are going to be something like 25 million, 2011, 30 million. So it's growing very, very fast. So there's the opportunity in these emerging markets to become the gorilla of your space. 
Um, and I think that's exciting to investors with a vision who can overcome the perception risk issues of investing in Pakistan. So when you say uh, Muslim market and then you talk about Rosie as a Pakistani job portal, uh, is there um, overlap or uh, are the two conflicting markets? Naseeb.com is targeting the Muslim internet users all over the world. Rosie.pk has started off as a Pakistani job site and we have uh, plans to expand outside the borders into the neighboring areas and countries, but we're going to be going after emerging markets that have common dynamics. For example, in the Middle East, uh, a lot of recruiting is done from Pakistan. A lot of Pakistanis end up working in the Middle East. A lot of Middle Eastern companies recruit from Pakistan. So there's some natural synergies that allow us to enter these global um, markets that make sense. What about um, if you go, for example, I know I worked in Pakistan for a short while where we advertise a job and we got 10,000 resumes, none of them qualified to do the job. How do you handle that type of overload in rosie.com, for example? So on our job site, what we have done